Hello, my name is Alex Young, a business systems consultant here at Proval Tech. Today, I will be showing you how to leverage ticket templates to recreate recurring tickets for your clients within ConnectWise PSA. Please click the like and subscribe button so you never miss out on another video. Let's get to it. So, when creating your recurring tickets for your companies within PSA, it's going to be a two-step process. First step of that process is going to be creating the template within the ticket template setup table. You can do this by accessing system setup tables and searching for the ticket template setup table. Once you go into the setup table, I already have this monthly maintenance one created here, but you just select the plus icon and then add any specific settings you want to this ticket, whether that's the type, subtype, or item, discussion, internal resolution notes, tasks, attachments, or any specific finance settings. Once you got everything set on your template, you'll just go ahead and click save and we'll move on to the next step of the process of adding it to the specific company. You can do this by accessing companies, companies, searching forever, whichever company you need to add it to. I'll go ahead and just open up one of my testing companies called Alex's Repair Shop and then select the ticket templates tab at the top. You'll select the plus icon here and then select the template you want to apply here in the template name dropdown. We'll go ahead and select the monthly maintenance one we just created. So there are very important settings here in this pop-up. There's two options. You can either copy or link to the ticket template setup table. Copy will copy the settings in a one-time fashion, but if you make any changes, they won't apply to this specific company's ticket. If you click link, it's going to automatically apply any changes to the ticket template setup table to all templates that are linked. I'm going to go ahead and select the link. That way I can just update one singular place instead of updating the tickets for all my individual companies. Once it's applied here, the next thing we need to do is just set the recurrence option for when we want this ticket to generate. This can be done here on the resources tab. You're going to go to select and or type in whichever user you want assigned to this ticket. I'm going to go ahead and select shared proval. I'm going to pick a start date on when I want this template to generate. Let's go ahead and select. We'll just start with today and we'll set a start time and end time that we want this ticket to be scheduled for. Our monthly maintenance typically takes about an hour, so I'm just going to go ahead and set an hour. We don't have an end date yet for this client, so I'm just going to go ahead and select no end date. And then as far as the repetition pattern, it's a monthly maintenance, so we're just going to go ahead and select monthly, and then we're going to generate this for the second Tuesday of every one month. So at this point, this ticket will generate every single second Tuesday of the month from 8 to 9 a.m. for the user shared profile. I'll go ahead and click save. Now that I'm done, there's only one additional setting I want to talk about here, and it's just this auto generation settings here on this template tab. You can select how soon in advance you want these tickets to generate. Right now I have it set to seven days, so we'll generate seven days prior to the second Tuesday, but I can adjust that out if I want to. I can also choose if I want a new ticket every Tuesday, of, second Tuesday of each month, or if I'd like to always use the last ticket. That way we don't have a bunch of monthly maintenance tickets. There's just one continuous monthly maintenance ticket. I'm going to go ahead and keep this as is for now. Once you've got everything set, you'll just go ahead and click save, and this ticket will generate on a monthly basis. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week on CW products to pass on our information. Let us know what else you'd like to see, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.